Hi, everyone. It's Joe Chadburn, the Ambassador Network Director here at World Missionary Press. I'm with my good friend Yuri Ilnitsky, originally from Ukraine. He now resides in the greater Atlanta area. Welcome, Yuri. Thank you for inviting me, and I'm glad to, to have a conversation with you guys. Yes, yes. Well, as we discussed before, and I really want you to be able to share your heart about all things Ukraine We're excited that we have been able to supply scripture booklets to many distributors who are ministering to Ukrainian refugees, both here in the United States, uh, California in particular, and uh, the nations surrounding, predominantly the nations surrounding Ukraine. So if you could just give a little bit of uh, insight as far as how valuable uh, that is. And I'd just like to talk uh, about Ukraine and just let you share your heart here. I know your mother recently uh, escaped Ukraine, and I know that that's a story in and of itself. So I'm going to give you the floor right now, and then we can interact a little bit. Okay. As we know, everybody, uh, that uh, nobody was expecting that uh, Ukraine will be invaded because uh, usually Ukraine, Russia, Belarus, all Slavic people, uh, they are Russian speaking people and uh, they call us a brotherhood. So uh, it was impossible to even think about that this is going to happen. Uh, even uh, I remember uh, one night before, uh, Brother Fred in Betsy. Uh, uh, you guys may know them. He was representing a world missionary pass. He called me at night and he said, our brothers was planning a mission trip to Ukraine. And I was like, I have a like feeling. I don't know yet nothing, but the uh, Holy Spirit moved my heart. I said, guys, it's maybe not the best time because uh, everything getting very heated and the uh, embassy of United States moved from, uh, from Kiev to Poland. Uh, Warsaw, I say if the United States moved their uh, representative means it will be something something going on. Three o'clock in the morning, uh, I received news, war started. It was terrifying. We not understand why God allows, because we know uh, from the Bible that God used uh, different kings to invade, to do something. I know that something happening and uh, once my, it's happened, my, the, my theology also allows for the possibility that evil men just do evil things and uh, and the lord works all things together for good and helps us in spite of that evil you know so uh, that's that's another angle to, to look at it from but go ahead yeah this is uh, this is what we understood later on uh because uh, the gospel, uh, usually when it's gospel spread it, when it's everybody is comfortable, when it's no pressure, everybody mm-hmm. Christian, this is what Solomon says, don't give me enough righteousness so I not forget about you. And comfort, yes? Mm-hmm. So, and don't give me too poor so I not be stretch my head or uh, hand uh, or, uh, or start stealing and, and, and blaspheme your name. So similar things happened there. Uh, people were so comfortable. People was, uh, when you talk to about God, on 1990s, uh, when it's everything break up, when we preached the gospel, God, people was surrounding. I was a student on, on college, and, uh, and I was traveling on, uh, on, on train. And I just opened the Bible. Many attention was there, and people start asking questions. I say, it's a Bible. Oh, this young man, it's, you know, the Bible. Because there is even no Bibles on that times. Mm-hmm. It was and, like so precious. So and, that people and, understand the context of this. This was during the, the fall of communism, correct? Yeah, fall of okay. communism, correct. So it was so much attention to the gospel on that time. Many people, when I start speaking in one, you get surrounded immediately. 20, 30 people was listening and they was interested on gospel, on news, on Bible, God, and many thousands of questions. Now in these times when we start, when it's everything happened, even on Donetsk was happening uh, uh, in 2014, but people was, eh, it's it just regional, it's not big deal, it's, 
But when it's everything happened, when it's turned everything upside down, and those news terrified, we invaded, uh, Ukraine invaded, people, you know, there is words say, there is no artist in hospital on crash plane or war. Mm -hmm. And this is where this reality come. People start realizing, they start reevaluating their values, what what is about and uh, when people many people before were saying hey on the, on these times uh, ukrainians also was fed up with christianity and many start uh, like no nah, i don't need god i'm good i'm fine so we was working there uh, our uh, our church was working with um, in touch ministry they send uh, mp3 player uh, you guys, uh, um, World Missionary Press supply booklets, uh, Gideon Brothers, they were supplying Bible, but the request was not that high like, like we expect 50 million people uh, on a country. So, but when war is started, everything starts changing. People start, uh, uh, start uh, losing houses, cars, businesses, and they start see that uh, they was talking yesterday with one friend and today there is no friend anymore bomb shell bomb and uh, a whole uh, nine story uh, tower, uh, building gone and those people who is there is gone so many people start realizing hey it's not i gonna wait in god when i get elder this is what many people are saying when i get no, elder no. then i be gonna talk about god but now i'm busy but then now they're realizing it's not that 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 situation now, mm -hmm. so they start searching for um, for some literature. Uh, they will start coming to the church. Same thing like happened here in 9/11. When 9/11 happened, mm -hmm. church was overwhelming. So this is same similar yeah. things happen uh, on Ukraine, and uh, when uh, you, uh, Russia start invading churches start uh, filled up and people start searching God and uh, there is was demand of literature because uh, mm -hmm. you can speak one one topic but people have many more questions uh, for example how to find uh, help uh, nobody helping many turn back and many disappear get that you know mm -hmm. so those booklets for example have from above it was answered right right there boom and uh, obviously our brothers uh, start seeing many, many needs of uh, uh, literature and also uh, different aids like uh, medication, uh, clothing, uh, and other uh, things. Um, so this is, was a start. This was a start. Many not comprehend what's happened, why it's happened, uh, what's the reason. But uh, thankfully we have a, a support from different missions that step in and they say hey we are here to you and if you need it we're gonna supply and this is how it's everything started um now uh when people start losing houses they start uh refuging they start moving toward mm -hmm. somewhere where is no war in Ukraine, by statistics, internally, meaning inside the Ukraine, was moved about 15 million people. Wow. This is what the government know. Mm -hmm. We know that thousands of people we disappear. We don't have a count on because there is war. There is no way to count. So, but mm -hmm. the approximate people what's buying tickets on the start when they buy tickets, later the government allow all the trains uh, buses uh, going for free just to move people out from the from the heated uh, heated situation and Russia saying oh we're not we're not uh, we're not targeting uh, civilians we target just military mm -hmm. okay two three days possible yeah they did on the first day they bombard all the air, air, uh, uh, airports even civilian airports they bombard those uh, so nobody mm -hmm. can use airports but uh, after a few days, they start bombing everything. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, it's uh, and those missiles what they send in they're not sending uh, smart mi missiles they say like firework stuff you know mm -hmm. so they just boom and where is hit they know they, they even doesn't know just blows things up indiscriminately it's not precision guided anything sophisticated yeah. we're using with so, that uh, and this why many many uh, missiles they hit the like uh, skyscrapers and uh, uh, nine-story buildings mostly what's mm -hmm. built in ukraine uh and those people just perish it's mm -hmm. gone that's and, horrible uh, now when it's everything started uh people in ukraine and all the churches here in america um, wake up because many of them they have relatives and uh, we start looking how to evacuate uh, them and Europe Union and United States Canada they decided to to do refugee plans uh, but since there is no United States embassy in Ukraine everybody must do who's whoever have a visa they must you travel to United uh, um, Euro Union um, across the border, uh, mm -hmm. Euro Union Embassy to get the visa to, to fly back here or any other countries. And we have about uh, seven or eight million. On the first few days, four million people moved mm -hmm. external uh, out of the country. Yeah. It was overwhelming. Uh, I remember I, I rescued my mom about seven days after seven days, but even mm -hmm. that, that time people was waiting seven days in the line. Mm -hmm. The lines was over uh, like overloaded, and thankfully brothers and sisters and Jesus Christ they wake up they they, they get very quickly to the borders mm -hmm. they start serving, and uh, many people they they, they saw. Uh, a kid uh, was uh, hit with brick and had is split it uh, mm -hmm. from bomb shelf and they they, they saw that this uh, they cannot tolerate on their uh, the other window blow and cut the head of the of his husband her husband there is real testimonies mm -hmm. and they saw that and they come and uh, our brothers on a, uh, mostly Poland uh, Poland um, and brothers, uh, later we, we uh, our country and uh, our church also joined on the Poland border. They start receiving those people and those who live on those terrifying moments mm -hmm. when they saw uh, with it's they saw how his blood spilled over over the the, the, the apartment and everything, and they start oh. talking things. They say, and some of them they say, "I'm Jewish. I never believe in God." Why has mm -hmm. happened? What? Where is the God? They start asking those questions, wow. and brothers start uh, start comfort them. They they start telling, uh, "Hey, if this is if that if that country will obey God, they never gonna attack mm -hmm. at first place." They, uh, the thing they, is, they not obey God. They not obey commands. This why war started. This why is uh, so. It's uh, but. It's not explainable when when somebody saw their kids blowed with the hit uh, with the brick or, or window cut uh, head decapitated people decapitated and having their yeah their skulls bashed open that's and, that's and terrible there is many more stories we're talking four yeah. million uh, people in just few days and yeah, we we see a little bit on the news but that's that's minuscule compared um I wanna, no, did, did your mom I'm have to see any news in the united states it's yeah. less than one percent what we see reality yeah did they, your mom have uh, to have to witness any of the carnage before she escaped or did or did she get out with have it without having to deal with with that uh okay uh when it's uh started i was not sleeping almost seven days because uh, seven hour uh difference so everything was happened during the day. It's here. It's midnight mm -hmm. after midnight. So um, we watch. I watching news and uh, uh, thankfully my mom live in West Ukraine. It's close to the border, mm -hmm. Ukrainian border, uh, to the Poland border, Euro border. Mm -hmm. But those who live on uh, East Ukraine, they experience that. This is okay. the harshest. Uh, 
East Ukraine, Central Ukraine, uh, mm, Northern Ukraine, mm -hmm. there is was where is everything terrified. Uh, yeah. For example, there is uh, Bucha, city Bucha near to Kiev. There is, we, we even now, they finding 3,000 burials in one place. It's like mm -hmm. animals, you know. Uh, they was killing, mass killing. Uh, yeah. And then when it's... Uh, uh, People start waking up and they start asking questions. Uh, the Russian um, government brought uh, crematoriums, uh, portable crematoriums, and they was burning those people out. Uh, they brought uh, like five or ten crematoriums on Bucha uh, region, oh, Irpin yeah. region, uh, and they were burning those people. Uh, my mom uh, city was also bomb shelf, but uh, not much. Uh, infrastructure is most uh, uh was a few shells that uh, was bombarded on uh, mm -hmm. airports and uh, since it was not in the uh, refinery mm -hmm. refinery stations uh, there is a lot of refinery stations on west ukraine mm -hmm. and they bombard those too so yeah. it was uh, but since People were standing on a, uh, I, I, I get the videos from our relatives. People were standing on the field uh, doing something and they watching uh, mis missiles was flying like airplanes and they was noisy. Wow. And uh, they're like, okay, one is flying and mm -hmm. another is flying. And the, the, the speedy ones, mm -hmm. you hear when it's already explode. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, it's a blessing that your mom and so many were able to escape. I just, I, you know, I just pity feel horrible for those who couldn't and, and just the state of affairs, because there's just so much devastation. You just wonder how it will be, you know, rebuilt. I mean, it, it's happened time and time again in this world, you know, things are rebuilt uh, after war and destruction and all that, but it's still, it's a horrific, you know, needless, senseless thing. Um, that happen, and you see, you hate to see that inflicted upon any people. And I can't imagine, especially, uh, you know, f from your own, uh, your homeland, your native land. So now you, you, you know, you spoke of the, of the brotherhood, you, you know, the Ukrainians speak Russian. And so, so this to you was kind of a, a, a this had to have been a huge betrayal, like a, a Judas thing, almost a, a, a big betrayal of really brother rising up against brother in, in, in this. But this Bible says we already knew that. Yeah. Uh, well, that's for, that's for Christians. Real Christians was not surprised. Yeah, because I mean, but that's Bible, that's how it felt, uh, uh, though. That's that's that had to have been how it felt. I mean, just a just a huge uh, betrayal. But psychologically, to get understand, hey, it's really happening. It's yeah. it was it was hard to believe. Yeah, because there's so many Russians things under the surface that the media doesn't cover, and that's why I'm I'm this conversation is good. Because I'm, you know, it, it's more as far as in depth and uh, a human interest type thing instead of, you know, this bad man bombed this place and this happened, and then you just seen pictures. And but when you get down to it on on, on the human level and hear about what's happened, um, that's just that's something. Now let me let me ask you. I want to make sure I've got this straight. Now, so you knew Jesus before the fall of communism. Uh, I know about God. Okay. That's why okay. my heart is burning so, what so sparked, much. So what sparked? So was it at the fall of communism? Because you said you you were ministering to people after the after the uh, you know the fall of communism. What's kind of the timeline of your story, your testimony with the fall of communism and uh, and witnessing to to people during that time? Okay, on communism, everybody was orthodox. Mm -hmm. Everybody know God that God exists and. Uh, the orthodox approach it was god exists but chil children it's not allowed to get to the church so it Even was more if, help us out so that we understand this so it was more of a a state controlled church is is what it yeah, was it is. so this yeah, is what it's it definitely. was definitely okay because the priest was a uh, have to report who was there which kids mm -hmm. because my parents was uh, more uh, leading to the christianity Mm -hmm. And uh, my parents give it to me the permission that I can go to the church, uh, Orthodox state church, registered, mm -hmm. what this was allowed. Mm -hmm. And when I get there, the principal of the school and policemen, they catch me 
and they say, oh, you will be in trouble. We will, we will uh, put you in a juvenile uh, prison for that. And uh, I, they say, who, allow, who granted you to get to the church? And I told them, okay, uh, I, give, God give me in that moment wisdom. I say, okay, I, I decided to go myself. And they say, you go with your permission of the parents. I say, no, I told them that I want to go. And they say, oh, then we need to talk also to your parents. And uh, they will be uh, lose the job and they may go to prison too. Hmm. And I say, what's wrong if we go? And this is this is was very very like um, tough situation. I'm not talking about the evangelicals. Evangelicals get mm -hmm. get in prison 25 years straight forward. Yeah, this was for uh, just any, this uh, was just for having any, interest in going to the state church. They were they were coming at you at that point. You're saying yeah yeah. Uh, and when communism, but my my understanding about God. This is why I'm preaching gospel even here in the United States because mm -hmm. even. Uh, when everybody have a label Christian country, mm -hmm. believe me, there is many people who don't know God, even like sure. me. I knew it God because I was Orthodox, but I, the, when we get to the Orthodox church, the priest was singing in Latin. Mm -hmm. So you're not getting anything. You just come and go and you have some yeah. pictures and that's it. We understand God uh, from the picture. We, we, mm -hmm. we saw icon. And this yes. is what we believe in God. We don't know how to have a relationship. We don't know that we possibly have a relationship. Mm -hmm. We don't know that we can be saved. We know that we go hell and mm -hmm. there is heaven, but uh, maybe only priests go to he heaven. And now, so you, so you, because my upbringing may have been s similar because in the Roman Catholic Church, they, there was a lot of Latin in, in certain masses. And you didn't understand. So you'd see statues and, you know, the icons, the pictures that you might be able to get something from and from just oral tradition, maybe from your grandmother or something and what she believed. But as far as really hearing the gospel and knowing about having a relationship with Jesus, that was kind of a uh, not a thing back then. So is that similar? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So okay. this, this is this is where where our brothers uh, from United States mostly uh they came over and they start explaining uh what's going on who is who is god uh, why we here who we are uh that also they uh not give they affirm us that we if we believe we will have a salvation we will be saved not just priests mm. so it was it was revolutionary it was uh, it was mind blowing even so now, th this was this was right after the fall of communism you saying these these uh, correct. People from the west when came okay uh, and this fall, is when this is when you really heard the gospel and it uh, it changed your life exactly yeah okay there, 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 there was um it was big big uh, change even even when they preached to us Mm -hmm. It was so deep, uh, and uh, other churches, uh, some brothers who get the Bible, they start reading and they start explaining us because mostly uh, missionaries they came over to Ukraine and big cities, but on small cities uh, there is was none. So uh, mm -hmm. uh, Gideon's uh, they give Bibles, and people start reading, and pastors uh, from generations. They start reading the Bible. They start explaining on their uh, theology what they think in this. So it was we was searching. We was navigating like a baby trying to walk. This yeah. was like this. It was not a ready cooked uh, gospel. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So uh, and uh, I value so much because uh, for me uh, to get uh, what who is God, how to get saved. Uh, mm. It was much searching. This is how God says, search me, you know, mm -hmm. and I will reveal to you. So this is was uh, much like searching. And with time, uh, the gospel start to open up and you start seeing. And uh, with uh, satellite, in, uh, satellite uh, TV, we mm -hmm. start uh, hearing uh, some, uh, some preaching. There was also, uh, they call um, good news. It was radio, AM radio, mm -hmm. and uh, we was listening from Canada, uh, gospel, not gospel, preaching. Mm -hmm. uh, they was preaching because here everybody understand that. For us, 
it was uh, preaching, but we, we, they preach about how uh, engine work and we mm. don't know how to start the car. Yeah, just, just the basics, the foundation. That's... He even doesn't have a basics. Yeah. And uh, even now, uh, when I speak with some people, uh, mostly Muslims or Hindus, or even our country, uh, Jews, mm -hmm. I told them about the, uh, the, the, the salvation, it's about the faith. They say, what kind of other ritual you have to do? I say, that's it. Uh -huh. You believe, no, mm -hmm. it's impossible. No, I, I, it cannot be that simple. Mm -hmm. It cannot be, and uh, that that easy to get to the God, that easy, how, they, then uh, who gonna pray for me? This is another thing. Who gonna mm -hmm. pray for me? Are you gonna pray for me or any priest gonna pray? Are you priest? Are you pastor that you can? No, you can pray yourself. It's impossible. No, how how myself mm -hmm. can approach to holy God? This is was mm -hmm. like what we thinking that is simple. Yeah. But people even today when we say accept Jesus Christ as a Savior, and they look into mm -hmm. us, what should I do? Especially when you tell him he's already accepted you. He just invites you to participate. I mean, you're, you're, you're already, there's already a seat at the table for you. You don't need a, uh, yeah, he is your priest and you're part of a priesthood. And that, that does take some undoing of prior programming and indoctrination and all.